YouTube, I had just got some news, man. I was sitting up, and I seen what old man Beasley ass, uh, he did a video. Uh, he was talking about how, um, Miss London, fuck, it's nighttime. I don't need to hold this shit to my face. He was talking about how Miss London had got kicked out of the wood grain team. And how the bitch went and shut her goddamn channel down. And Monty say he got all kinds of, um, information on her and shit. <laughs> Me and Jim was just talking about this shit this morning. We had seen some video where Monty was talking shit about somebody. It's about some, yeah, I got info on you. He pulled his big, his, his fat ass notebook to show the information he got on people. And, uh, cause we were talking about how Monty's a coward. He ain't gonna go against nobody unless he got some, uh, uh, uh information on him. And so what me and Jim was saying, we were saying, you know, that notebook is full of information, um... On his on his wood grain dick suckers, cause me and Jimmy, we what up, big white silverback Miss London is a, a wood grain dick sucker who live over in England. She used to get on a radio show and talk plenty of shit, plenty of fucking shit about a nigga. And now I'm munching and betrayed that bitch. But um, I said I said you know what man. That notebook that Monty got, a number of notebook full of information on what grain members. So whenever he decides to betray him, he can flip on him. Monty is almost like L.A. Except that Monty, he, he, he don't flip as fast and back and forth, back and forth. Uh, yeah, he going to get Miss London. So well, this is this, all I can tell you, Miss London. What you need to do before, before shit get hot, I see what you didn't took down your motherfucking uh facebook i mean your youtube channel that show you a coward like i've been saying for many years that you was a fucking coward bitch when you get on the fucking radio and talk shit about me from behind the radio you divine queens another other bitch from england so uh matter of fact when when the wood I, I would love to know why he flipped on her because monty will flip on his members for stupid ass reasons like Monty flipped on me one he was jealous of my talent to make people laugh I don't know what the beef is and then like I say uh, he flipped on me one time I was on the boat he, he tried to call my phone and I had been gone off of shore for like four days so since he couldn't I might link it up later so since he couldn't um um get me on the phone he decided he wanted to uh, make a roast video about me 30 minute long roast video and I cooked the shit out of this bitch ass when I got back. Monty's good for that. He 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 turned on LJ because LJ didn't answer the phone. He flipped on Jimmy because Jimmy didn't answer the phone. People don't answer the phone when Monty called him because Monty be trying to call people and check people like like he's somebody daddy, like he's somebody boss. I don't know. I know a couple of times Monty they called me trying to check me. What up, Rico? What up, Roger? Milner. Jafar Blackman. This nigga didn't call me trying to check me on. Hey, man, I saw you on such and such page. I saw you on such and such channel. I said, look here, man, don't, don't fucking do that. Don't, don't, don't try that shit with me, Monty. You can't fucking check me. This nigga would sit up like, 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 like he a real kingpin. I, 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 I shot you out, Milner. I shot you out. Like he's some kind of kingpin, like he tells somebody what to do. You was my doggy. So anyway, all right, Monty, you out of here tonight. You out of here, bitch ass nigga. Come on, come on, on another account, faggot. So anyway, <coughs> so anyway, this nigga, um, he 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 a little fag, man. He a little bitch made ass nigga. So well, he want he want people who who flunkies. That's why I say people like me and Jimmy and Freddie, uh, skinhead Jackson. We left his ass alone. Fuck that nigga. The people that were left behind. Yeah, Miss London. Yeah, Miss London is a lady from England. She's a uh, real light skinned. She look like she biracial. Yeah, I think it's real. Hell yeah. I believe it is. See, cause Monty can't get no attention. Monty can't get no attention. He come on my. He come on my. I just had a block Monty a, a minute ago. He come on my channel. He sit up and watch people. And Monty, he he hating so bad because he can't get no attention. Don't nobody want to watch his videos. This nigga YouTube is done. That nigga's done on YouTube. So, I know a couple of months ago, Miss London was making videos. Right. I'm talking about that too, Roger Abraham. Miss London was making videos. I think she came and visited the, the uh, Caribbean islands. And she was doing videos showing her feet and stuff. And 
I remember Morpheus was like, hey man, Miss London got some sexy ass feet. And I couldn't I couldn't really get into it. I couldn't really get into it because I couldn't stand it, bitch. I say, you know what? I don't give a fuck what her feet look like, what her body look like, what her face look like. I say, I can't stand that bitch. I don't give a fuck. Fuck her. Fuck her. So I was t I, I heard that Monty flipped on her because he tried to check her by being in other people's chat rooms. And then and go back to what I say, Monty loved trying to check people on. Hey man, I saw you on such and such channel. I saw where you left a comment on this person's Facebook page. I remember back when um me and Monty was cool back in 2013. He tried to check me about uh being Facebook friends with Quazy Watson and uh Lamar faggot ass Will. And I told that nigga, I said, man, don't you fucking don't don't do that. Don't you do that, bitch. Shut up, Reef. You another dick sucker. I can't wait till Monty flip on you. Monty and I already Monty and I already set you up to show that old Frankenstein foot. And then me and Monty sat on the phone and laughed at how fucked up your foot was. Then Monty sat on the phone with LA and laughed at you. So what the fuck is you talking about, bitch ass nigga? What the fuck is you talking about? So I think he flipped on Miss London because she be in Mike Mills chat room. She be in other people's chat rooms. And um yeah, tell you the truth, Case K, I love women's feet. I love women's feet. Cause I know Morpheus was like, hey man, you need to go look at this video. This woman got her feet on camera. She got some sexy ass legs and feet. I couldn't even watch the video. I clicked on it. I couldn't even watch the shit because I couldn't stand it whole. I'm like, man, I don't give a fuck what that bitch feet look like. I don't give a fuck how sexy her feet is. Fuck her. Yeah, it's confirmed. She 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 took her channel down. <laughs> So I, I know I know Monday try, probably try to check that bitch about being on somebody else's um uh, um uh, videos, and he think he's somebody's boss. He think he's somebody's boss. I'm like, man, you don't get the fuck up out of here, bitch, trying to boss. And it's something I always I never could understand it too. I and I said this in a minute video. I say I don't see how all these women. Like Jesse and London and Miss uh, Divine Queen. And Divine Queen, you next. He gonna flip on you next. He gonna flip on you next. The only, the only let me tell you something. The only only people women he care about over there is Tanya and fucking Jesse. The rest of y'all bitches ain't shit to him. Shit. This nigga that flipped on uh, Roslyn. Roslyn sat there, sucked this nigga dick for like three or four years. And he flipped on that bitch. Uh, I think I, I, she was doing these little, these little, these little uh, video, but she was talking on the video. You can hear that that English accent. She was showing her feet. She showed like her. Uh, I think she was showing her kids in the video. She was riding in the truck with her kids, with her ugly ass kids in the back seat. You can see her kids. I think she had a video with a sundress on. I mean, her video. I think the longest video she ever she made was like 19 seconds. She made a video. Of, um. I know one video she's walking around the house with no shoes on, showing her feet, like I said. And I love women's feet, but I can't stand it, bitch. So I don't give a fuck about her feet. I don't give a fuck. She, she can look like Alicia Keys. And I still wouldn't give a fuck because of her uh, uh, alliance. So, um, this nigga talking about I took his job. Hey, Monty, I, I did a whole video talking about how I had been wanting to quit Harvard Gold for two years before that happened. So, you quit talking about that nigga for one bitch. When I called a goddamn hospital, they said that you you you, you wouldn't even up there. And I told it, bitch, if you lying on me, motherfucker, you damn right. Yeah, right. That's the truth. And I said if you lying on me, motherfucker. If you lying on me, if you lying to me, motherfucker, I'm already got the news, the news stations. I I already, I already the news they know this nigga in the hospital playing, pretending to be a doctor. So, uh, you can keep talking about that shit, Monty. But guess what? Guess what, Monty? You a miserable ass nigga. Your wife was out for Easter, hunting Easter eggs with another woman while you was at home with London, with your daughter London, not Miss London. But anyway, yeah, he got AIDS and he working at fucking, no, he don't work at the hospital no more. He don't. He don't work at the hospital no more. Snake Loke and them got his ass. But anyway, so I always wondered I always wondered, how the fuck is a woman, how the fuck could a real woman sit around and gravitate? No, nah, I'm not watching. I'm on, I'm on, I'm on here with y'all. I'm talking with y'all. How the fuck is a goddamn real woman, a woman who call herself a woman, can sit up here 
and align herself with a pussy ass nigga like Monty. I never understood how women could could gravitate to a pussy ass nigga. Monty is a straight up pussy, man. And I never understood how women like I can see why Tanya did, cause she had she was fat and she had low self-esteem. I can see why um let me see. I think I, I think him and Jesse had um man, let me tell you something, J. Jordan. It ain't no and me and Monty ain't gonna let no beef go. If we want if, if we gonna squash the beef, we need to go ahead and meet up and throw them hands. And then Monty ain't gonna do that, then we ain't gonna squash the beef. Ain't no squash no beef with me and Monty, man. Fuck that nigga. I really ain't got no beef with him. I don't give a fuck about him. But right now, I, I, I'm, I'm talking. I'm talking about something that's, that's happening in this sector. The same way, with, if something happened in this sector, Monty get his punk ass on video and talk about it. Just like when Tariq Nasheed did that, that video, Monty dressed up like Tariq Nasheed and jumping around trying to um, roast. What happened to Sharon Fitz? Uh, Monty ran Sharon Fitz off. I think. I think Monty had. Uh, I think Monty uh, fucked Sharon Fitz and. Oh, uh, she sucked his dick and he um he roasted her, so she left YouTube. If we throw hands with the end, yeah, his life will end. I don't have no beef with the nigga right now. I'm t I don't have no beef with Monty. I don't have no real beef as far as like uh, let me tell you something. I, I don't I don't care enough about Monty to hate him. But I think I I, I think I do owe him an ass whooping. So if you really want to squash the beef for real, nigga, meet up. And let's throw them hands. They kicked well, Monty kicked that hoe out because she uh he got mad because she be in other people's chat rooms on their live feeds. That's how much bitch is a bitch he is. Like I say, I never could understand women that hang around a faggot ass fuck nigga. Uh I remember one time Jesse was like, Yeah, Kevin, you you wanna get Monty? He's under my protection. She would talk about Monty like he was her little brother or like her son. This a nigga who, um, uh, um, no, uh, man, fuck L.A., man. L.A. can kiss my ass. I don't want to fuck with L.A. I just had my uncle talking shit about L.A. early today. Fuck L.A., man. I wouldn't fuck with that old ignorant ass, this law, bitch ass nigga. And speaking of this law, so the video Beasley put up, he said that Monty kicked the bitch out for being this lawyer, but it ain't nobody more this law than, than Monty. Don't forget, whenever Monty fall out with somebody, he always say, oh, you was my doggy. You was my, you was my slave. You was my, you was my slave. And the other wood grain members simply listen to him talk about people who uh, protected him and helped his dumb ass in different beasts. And I'm like, if I was your slave, and I was the leader of the wood grain team, so let's get that straight. When I was on the wood grain team, I was the fucking leader of that shit. I was the fucking leader. So, and, and then even Jay Jordan, he flipped on Jay Jordan. You was my slave. You was my flunky. Kevin, you was my flunky. You was my slave. Jimmy, you was my slave. You was my flunky. Freddie, you was my slunk, my slave. Uh, 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 Pinhead was my slave, my flunky. Everybody was your slave and your fucking flunky. And so you got people like Reef Dumbass, Crazy Dumbass, Jesse Dumbass, sitting up here, amen, saying amen. I'm like, bitch, you is the fucking slave and flunky. If you sit up here and listen to a nigga talk about people who he was cool with, everybody was my slave, my flunky. You his slave is fucking flunky. They're like LJ, you was my slave, you was my flunky. Man, fuck Monty, man. Monty ain't shit. Let me tell you something, J. Jordan. If it was a race war pop off right now, Monty is useless. Monty's a coward. He can't fight. He can't think. He can't plan nothing. Monty just a, a dumb man. Monty the type of nigga you 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 or uh, you sit at for for target practice. So now nah, fuck Monty. I'm just I'm talking about how Monty uh betrayed Miss London dumbass. Have I ever thought? Uh, I don't really have nothing invested. I'm just talking shit right now. I'm just talking shit for the fuck of it. But um, <clears throat> let me tell you, I'm telling you how much of a coward Monty is. This dude who lived probably less than 50 miles away from Monty, named New Jersey Finest. Okay. He uh, I talked about it in a minute. Linear Tech. 
Well, Monty just he he just he just uh I see Pinhead every every day on Facebook. Even though me and Pinhead like, like a little had like a little minor beef on um on YouTube because he was simping his ass off, and I had to uh, cuss him out. <clears throat> Pinhead be on Facebook. But for you, linear tech, Monty betrayed um Miss London dumbass because. He, he called her on Mike Mills chat rooms and just chatting up with tip people. So Monty always trying to dictate what somebody can do on social media. And like when I was in the wood grain, <laughs> they had faggot ass Justin. I don't know if y'all remember Justin or not. <clears throat> Little faggot ass youngster named Justice, Justin. And goddamn, um, look here, bitch. I'm not finna play these goddamn fake ass Kevin accounts. So you, you getting the fuck out of here tonight. I just ain't playing that shit tonight, pussy. So he had faggot ass Justin. Um, he 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 went through Justin's um YouTube channel and found out he was subscribed to Tommy. He had his private uh Facebook group. This nigga went ham on Justin, asking him why the why the fuck is uh, uh, you over there subscribed to Tommy and all this. And I'm like, what the fuck? And just was trying to explain. Well, I be because if, look, if you if you want to watch a roast battle, you gotta watch both sides. I said, man, I wouldn't explain shit that bitch ass nigga. I would have uh, told him to suck my dick because that he did. Hey man, what you doing being friends with Crazy in L.A. on Facebook? I said, let me tell you something right now, bitch. I, I'm not that one. Don't don't ever try that shit with me. You understand me, bitch? I talked to him like I said, bitch, you understand? I don't, don't, don't ever come to me. That's why I be in LA, for, LA try to uh, check me behind the scene. Like, let me tell you something, bitch. Don't ask me a motherfucking thing. Hey, man. Yeah, Justin and Boxhead is the same faggot. They the same girl. So, like LA, hey, man. I heard, hey, man, uh, uh, what's up with you and Tina? I said, I ain't talked to Tina in about six months. What the fuck you mean? Oh, uh, 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 you lying. I said, let me tell you something. LA. Don't do that shit. You're not my fucking wife. You're not my girlfriend. I'm not finna argue with you. Cause he would argue, and I know you was getting Tina money too. I said, no, I wasn't. Yes, you was. No, I wasn't. Yes, you was. I said, let me tell you something, man. I'm not finna do this fucking shit with you, man. If me and Ellie was talking to that person, I would have punched LA to his fucking brain. Would have came out the back of his goddamn head. We got suck Norris in the building. Suck Norris in the house. Yeah, LA stupid. LA's a dumbass nigga, so LA LA and Monty, they they a lot of ways they 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 LA and Monty they they like trying to talk to people and handle people any kind of way. And that shit just ain't gonna fly over here. They about to they ain't gonna fly over here. So I think Monty tried to check Miss London and and, and 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 instead of being a real woman, I think Miss London got a husband too. Instead of being a real woman, say, look here, bitch. The only person could tell, talk to me like that is my husband. She she took a fucking um, YouTube channel down. So Money said he got all kinds of information. I wonder what he got on him. Yes, yeah, so that, that would kill me. L.A. tell me I don't want uh, I don't want you on um, being cool with Tina. Not him and Tina close. Ain't that some stupid ass shit? Yeah, I know L.A. ain't got no power in real life. I saw a video. Well, L.A. was on live on um, playing it uh, uh, Fortnite, that stupid ass Fortnite. Okay, he playing Fortnite. He yelling at the at, at the little kids. He yelling. At, he yelling at the kids. Hey, he talking to the little kid like he talking to his own kids. But the thing is, he can't talk to his own kids that way because he don't do shit for his kids. His kids wouldn't uh, accept that shit from him. Where's well, the thing? He probably yeah. L.A. did have real feelings for um. For Miss Tina. LJ, Miss London got kicked out because uh, I think uh, Monty got tired of seeing her over in other people's chat room. So, um, like, like Monty, I, I, I done blocked Monty three times in the last 20 minutes out of my chat room over here. But he got a nerd to tell other wood grain members that what they can and can't be at. And I'm like, who in the, who, what, what fucking bills do you pay for somebody? No, nah, that Ben's in the junkyard. Monty be talking to people like like he paying their bills. Now I told him his ass back in uh, 2013. I said, bitch, you don't pay no fucking bills. You ain't paying me no goddamn salary. 
and uh, I don't know who the current WG Tim T members is. I don't give a fuck. Even his even his real life friend Marty don't deal with him no more. Marty don't even deal with him. Marty Marty don't even fuck with him. Yep. Yeah. He felt like with his real life home boy that he grew up in school, they came with a special ed together. <laughs> special ed through middle and high school. I don't know why Monty do that and I don't give a fuck. Uh, Monty, uh, he's just a dumb ass nigga. He's a lonely ass nigga at that. Monty simply called everybody else lonely, but um, <laughs> she and they smoked a blunt when when he, when he, while he watched his brother in the um, mortuary getting 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 sprayed down with a water hose. And they don't give a fuck. Yeah, he watched the, he smoked a blunt when he watched that Benz get crushed. He smoked a blunt when he when he went to the fucking um morgue to identify his brother body. He smoked a uh, a blunt. The nigga, did the nigga smoke the blunt when he watched his wife getting fucked down by another man in his bed? This nigga smoked a blunt when, his, when, it, when he, he watched the nigga pull a gun on his fucking son. This nigga smoked a blunt when he watched a, a dude slap his daughter. This nigga smoked blunts. And that's all he can do with his life is a smoke a blunt. For real. For real. For real. For real, man. I can't family. But yeah, LA ain't shit. But um, this is my thing, Monty. Okay. Um, who move a turncoat, LA or Monty? Uh, it's hard. It's hard. Yeah, LA to my his daughter's gonna win a beauty pageant. Hell no. Hell no. She wasn't winning shit. If she was gonna win a beauty pageant, he wouldn't be on here begging for donations. Because with a beauty pageant win comes scholarships and everything else. She went for the win shit. So um like I say, man, this is how this is how you know Monty's a fucking pussy. Now we just seen the video where Chris was talking mad shit about Monty <laughs> on LJ. Chris and LJ they, they were talking mad shit about uh, Monty. <laughs> Monty heard the clip with Chris talking about Monty like a fucking dog. Saying that Monty wasn't shit. Monty wasn't on his level. Monty was a pussy. Okay? Alright, Uncle Nutlegs, you for one on five minutes. Talk that stupid ass shit. What am I going to kill this nigga over a worthless ass job for? I, I told you, man, get shut the fuck up. What am I going to kill this nigga over a worthless ass job? That goddamn one paying me shit. I, I I I need to do another video on Martin. Then I just did a video the other day showing that Harvey Golf is going under. Harvey Golf wasn't even paying people right. What the fuck? I'm gonna kill this nigga over a piece of shit ass job. I came home and found a job paying the same goddamn money. And was getting off at four o'clock. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Stupid bitch. Anyway. I, I, I talk about how Monty was scared of Chris. He won't he won't go to war with Chris. He was scared. Well, Harvey Golf, uh, fuck it. It, it wasn't even worth it. The best thing to do with Harvey is to quit. I'm going to make another video telling these guys to quit Harvey Golf. These niggas sat on the boat through April. I mean, through Easter. And Easter happened to be April Fool's Day. And everybody who was riding that boat for Harvey Golf, it was an April Fool. <laughs> they was a goddamn April Fool. If you if you, if you work for Harvey Golf, this this past Sunday you were April Fool. The fucking uh, CEO of the company Shane Guidry at home chilling, rich as fuck, nigga driving Ferraris and Lamborghinis and shit. Nigga, this nigga, this nigga, this nigga take helicopters to the grocery store. Okay, this, this nigga take all these niggas be be living like living like he fucking uh, uh Birdman or some kind of rapper. Okay, and your dumb ass on the boat working for peanuts, working for 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 half, less than half of what you're supposed to get paid, and this nigga telling you he can't pay you. The company going out of business. The nigga always sending memos telling you to hang in now. The nigga been saying this since 2014. Hang in now, stay with us, work with us. We gonna take care of you. And every year they show you they don't give a fuck about you. So why would I be mad? You know what, Negroes with beefing? I was a fucking slave. 
Um, uh, people scared of Monty because his mom's a cop. I ain't scared of him or his fucking mama. Shit, I punch Monty dead in his fucking face, and I punch his mama dead in her fucking face too. And I stumped that bitch in her fucking chest cavity for real. I ain't scared of Monty's mama. I ain't scared of. The only person scared of Monty's mama is his fucking daddy. I ain't scared of my mom's. He, he know what? And that was Monty's love. Monty's love to fuck with people, fuck with people, and push it always in line. And then when the motherfucking shit get real goddamn serious, hey, let me just give you um um a warning. My mom's a cop. My mom's a cop. Like, bitch, fuck your mama. <laughs> uh, just, let I me mean, look butt word. Hey, man, quit asking me questions. Okay? How many, in the, all right, butt word. You can get your punk ass out of here, too. I'm going to tell you something. You probably true colors. If you ain't true colors, you you probably Monty. Look here, bitch. Don't ask me no stupid ass motherfucking question. Tired of y'all bitch ass niggas ask me stupid shit. So, anyway. Monty is such a pussy to where he won't he won't go at snitching Chris. Right. Well, Rogue Archer was finna put hands on Monty until Monty had begged for mercy. I don't know why Snitch and Chris scared of Monty, cause, I, cause in a rose battle, Snitch and Chris would he would he he would he would flame Monty. Snitch, I mean Snitch and Chris would knock Monty out with a, a flawless victory, and I don't and, 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 then, and then Snitch and Chris say, I think I think Monty got he getting he that he getting that good medication. He was on he was a uh, Snake Lope made a video way to the clip out with him and um LJ were talking real greasy about Monty. That shit was funny. I know Monty saw it. But I don't know, man. Chris would Chris would uh Chris would, would drag Monty in a roast battle. He'll drag him in a real fight. That's why I don't know why Chris never got that nigga. Chris claimed, uh uh, I'm only here for the roast and the fuckery. I'm like, Chris, you done went at everybody. He done went at me, uh, Tommy, LA, Mike Mills, he didn't talk shit about uh uh everybody over here but Monty for some reason you skip over you a coon and then before and then and then and then before uh, I think he, if Monk, Chris won't cook Clifton so you don't forget Chris like fucking people in the ass okay now we know Clifton go down to Atlanta every year with his Masonic brothers and get fucked in his ass Chris, Cliff make that trip Cliff ain't paying for that trip the Masons let me tell you something with all them boys all right Brandon, Miss London got kicked out of WGT because Monty uh, called her in other people's chat rooms. So he, I guess he, he cussed her because Monty loved to call people on the phone and cuss them out. He loved to do that type of shit, and she probably got got rid of all. Uh, thank you, Chris. F -f Thanks for telling the truth. The truth. I don't know why. Chris scared of Monty for no reason. Man, Chris would destroy Monty in a fucking roast. I, man, I, I've been wanting to hit this shit for the last two years. I promise to God on my children's, or like y'all like to say, cheering. I promise to God on my cheering, cheering, chillings, okay? Me and Chris, we sit on the phone, and one day Chris was like, man, he asked me, what's the real beef with you and Monty? So I, I told him about it, and, he, he, and then about a week later, he just... He sat up and he um he watched Monty. He said, "You know what, man? You right." He said, "Monty's a bitch ass, weak ass, hoe ass, fuck nigga." Man, Chris, man, man. I wish I had recorded that, which I don't do, but I wish I had recorded that conversation. Man, Chris dragged Monty up and down, up and down the fucking Mississippi River, talking about him like a fucking dog. So what we was gonna do? Chris Punk ass, he, he, he said, yeah, I want to cook that motherfucker. He said, but I don't want to just be a shit starter. He wanted to cook Monty. What up, Morpheus? All right, everybody keeps the same thing. Miss London, Monty f betrayed Miss London because Miss London was, um, all right, nigga, please, you can suck my dick, bro. And let me tell you something, nigga, please. Ain't nobody's untouchable, not even you. This was, no, Chris was Chris would talk about Monty behind the scenes. He talked mad shit about Monty behind the scenes. So nigga, please to go on five minutes talking about erroneous ass bullshit, fucking up my goddamn stories. What up, Conjor? Nigga, keep on talking shit about a fucking worthless ass job. Get the fuck out of here. 
That goddamn jaw was worthless, nigga. Worthless, just like, just like, just like, like, like your, like your fat ass wife, bitch. Worthless to you because she ain't getting you no pussy. She won't suck your dick. She won't even let you touch her pussy because you got AIDS. But anyway, so the deal was Chris was like, and I know you up here listening. Yeah, that, you know what? And that sound right. This is what Jimmy and Monty felt like. Jimmy was like, you know what, Monty? This here is crazy. Uh, I'm not going to do this no more. He said, I, I, I see myself becoming a bad person. It was, it, was, it was when Jimmy had first roasted L.A. brother. And he said, YouTube on fire. He said, YouTube on fire. Queasy made a video talking about it. Tommy talked about it. Everybody was like, whoa, Jimmy just cooked this man's obituary. So Jimmy felt bad about it. Everybody beat up Monty. Monty's a low man on the totem pole. But um, she look, she 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 erased her channel. She shut her channel down when Monty threatened her. So uh, um, Jimmy told Monty like, look, I don't want to do this no more. Okay, I'm done. Okay, because uh, you know this is just bad. This bad. Yeah, I, I, I can believe that. I, I can believe Chris and Monty related. You know what? I can believe that because. Uh, Chris will not talk about him anyway. I could believe it. So anyway, cause I like, where the fuck this old ugly snitching ass nigga come from talking shit about me on Mike Mill radio show? But I don't know. So Jimmy told Monty, he said, "Look, man, I don't want to do this no more. This shit is just, I'm done." So Jimmy had went in and shut his channel down for over a month. So during it, this how him and Jimmy fell out. Jimmy was like, "Look." I don't want no more of this negativity. I'm just gonna shut my channel down and I'm done. I'm up here talking about people's kids. I'm talking about dead people. I'm done. I don't want to be that person. And Monty went somewhere and sat down. All right. But during that time, Monty started uh, picking battles with LA and LA cooked this shit out Lamont. He cooked the dog shit out Lamont. I was on the boat. And I, I wouldn't upload no video from the boat. I'm like, I'm not uploading from the boat. So he like, well, Kevin on the boat, so Kevin can't save me. So he was like, um, Jimmy, I need you to come back. So Jimmy like, no, nah, I don't want no part of negativity. So much like, man, you got to be a team player. You got to be a fucking team player, man. You got to be a team player. I mean, he was cooking money so bad to where Jimmy came out of retirement Jimmy and Freddie came, and then Freddie started going to battle with L.A. And L.A. started getting up. Well, first, Freddie came to help Monty save Monty. Okay? And this is why Freddie fell out with him, because, well, Freddie come to save uh, uh, Monty, and Monty ran. So Freddie came to bail Monty out. L.A. started getting the best of Freddie in the roast. And I'm on the boat, and I'm like, God damn, I can't, I can't help him. Um, so then Jimmy got tired of seeing this shit. So, uh, so it really much like, man, we need, you gotta be a team player, man. Be, you gotta be a team player. K.R. Hawkins is a homosexual. He, he might be, um, fucking K.R. in his ass. So, um, so, so Jimmy came back and he was cooking, uh, L.A. And, um, I think L.A. was getting the best of Jimmy and Freddie. So Jimmy, like, look here, man. We, you need, you need to come in and help us, cause we, we came to save yo, we came to save yo bacon, okay? Cause why, cause why Jimmy and Freddie was going at L.A. Monty making these stupid videos about all these, these stupid ass pastor, uh, he made these uh, pastor holy milk videos, these stupid ass old man Melvins. So he, he asked him to save him from L.A. and then. Instead of instead of going in with him, he started making holy milk, past the holy milks, these stupid ass videos, uh, just stupid videos, all these stupid ass parodies, uh, old man Melvin, it's all these stupid wannabe comedy videos. I'm like, damn. So Ed Monty keep making these stupid ass videos. Now I ain't never got my ass beat or punked on the boat. Never, never, homie. Yeah, Marty don't. Marty left Monty's. Period. He left more than Ed W. What up, Tom Tom? So, yeah, Monty's stupid though. So, um, 
so Jimmy, like, look here, man. We came back that we I came back here to save you. And nigga, you'll be making these stupid ass videos about Pastor Holy Milk and all this stupid ass shit. Nigga, we need some goddamn assistance. Monty goes. I don't want no more of the negativity. I want to leave the negativity behind me. He's like, you motherfucker, you bitch. Say, bitch, I came out of retirement to help you, pussy. Oh, yeah, man, fuck Harvey Gold. I give a fuck. Man, niggas be calling me up and hitting me up. They be sounding so sad about Harvey. I say, leave them. What, leave them. What you stand for? You, you stand for nothing. The only thing I'm, I got told Corbin when they, when they fired me, and he's in the office. But Corbin, he, 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 would look, he, he wanted me to be upset. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't give him that because I, I wasn't upset. I didn't give a fuck. He kept looking at me like I'm, like I'm supposed to cry. I was like, what you, I don't know what you're looking for. I don't know what you're looking for because you ain't going to see now until. Well, we ain't got no hard feelings. I said, the only hard feelings I got, Corby, is staying with y'all as long as I did. I'm not going to be salty about Harvey rebuilding. Not going to read. Harvey is done. Harvey is done. Like I told y'all last year. Real Chris. No, we didn't, Drayden. So, this is what me and Mom tell you. So, so, so Monty, he got, all right, long story short. It don't matter, Morris Twalkins. Fired or quit, I was glad to be gone. Okay? Anyway, long story short, Monty was getting his ass cooked by L.A. He started a beef with L.A. After it was a truce, he started some more shit. L.A. cooked the shit out of Monty. Jimmy had left YouTube. He said, I'm done. He called. He got Jimmy to come out of retirement. Jimmy come out of retirement. And then Jimmy needed help. And he said, no, nah, I'm not going to help you. She's like, what the fuck you mean, bitch? And Monty like, I'm a grown-ass motherfucking man. I'm a grown motherfucking man. I ain't got to do shit if I don't want to. After he begged Jimmy to come back out of retirement, tell him, you need to be, you need, we need, you, got, you need to be a team player. So, so Jimmy like, you motherfucker. So at this point, Jimmy was talking about beat, them, beat Monty's ass. So Jimmy called Monty one day. Monty would answer the phone. So he was like, so I think they talked later. He was like, um, I'm a grown ass motherfucking man. If I don't want to answer the phone, I ain't got to answer the phone. So during the same time period, Monty got bad at me because I didn't answer the phone for like four days. So he, so Monty would sit up here and tell you he a grown ass motherfucking man. He don't have to answer your calls when you call him. But when you don't answer his call, he make a video about you. Well, yeah, Monty Wolf didn't kill himself and you see me cry about my job. And after I left that job, you see me all over the country. I always wanted, I preferred to work outside of Mobile, work outside of town, go to different places. I love going to Texas because in Texas, they, 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 they treat a nigga like, like a real fucking king. Y'all be talking shit about me. Oh, Kevin, you a big fat ass nigga, which I'm not really. If you saw me in person, you wouldn't say that. <clears throat> so, anyway, in Texas, they like everything is big in Texas. Man, I'm, I'm, six, I'm fucking 6'3 six, and a half. I just measured myself on a machine. I'm 6'3. Nigga, 6'3. Got wide shoulders. Nigga, got big muscles, big arms, big legs, big calves. Bitches in Texas love that shit. They love a big ass nigga like me. Goddamn, when you I'll be wearing my sweatpants, my motherfucking, I ain't no 450. Get fuck out of here with that shit, bitch. Nigga be wearing them goddamn sweatpants. They see this big ass dick in my sweatpants. Shit, I love going to Texas. I love where well, Florida's okay. I Florida's okay. Florida kind of strange, but women in Florida hit my accent like, oh my God, where you from? I love that shit. And then I make more money than I did on the fucking boat. So. <clears throat> yeah, right. <laughs> Do the women got, yeah, the women in Texas got big titties. That's all they got. Really, the women in Texas got big titties. That's one thing they got big old titties. A lot of them ain't got no ass, though. A lot of women in Texas got big titties and no ass. I, I seen a whole bunch of Mexican women in I'm telling you, when I was in Dallas, Texas, the thickest woman I saw was a fucking Mexican. I was at Popeye's Chicken, and this shit was fun as hell. I went to Popeye's Chicken. I ain't see now, nigga. It was all Mexicans working at Popeye's Chicken. 
Mexican woman. She was thick as fuck. She had a cute little face. She, she was an older woman, but she you would tell she was cute. And the motherfucker had a big ass fucking rack. And she she turned around to get my chick, and her ass was fucking. God damn. She had a big old head. She wasn't fat now. She was just thick. She wasn't fat. She was thick. This motherfucker turned around. I'm like, yeah, damn. The food in Dallas is okay. The food in Dallas is not as good as hell. They got some black women there, but they, uh, a lot of black women I saw in Texas were kind of like slim. But out of the part of Dallas I was in, was like mainly Mexican. Like I told you, the part of Dallas I was in, uh, it was like the play that fitness I went to was like uh, Mexican. All Mexicans worked there. The, the Popeyes, all Mexicans worked there. The motherfucking, um, where else? Man, I, you know what? I, I need to go back to Dallas. I, I like Dallas. This is this, this my daughter last year in high school. I think she gonna, she said she gonna go play for Tal State. Money didn't run me to nowhere. Money didn't run me to no fucking Texas. Dumbass nigga. So anyway. How you run me to Texas? I'm not in Texas now. Stupid bitch. So anyway. Matter of fact. If I went to Philly. I wouldn't even want to go to Philly. Fuck Philly. I go to Philadelphia. It'd be some fine women, women in the mall. Walmart's down here. I mean, Texas, I mean, in Mobile, you see fine women. Like, you go to Walmart, you go to fucking Kmart, you go to anywhere, I see fine women. In Dallas, you had to go, like, the fucking gym to see a fine-ass woman. Or you had to go for the motherfucking, where I, I still stand behind what I say in Philly. I go to Philadelphia, Mississippi, before I go to motherfucking Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Fuck that. How'd I win a Rose Battle with Harvey Gulf? Um, uh, I probably do good. I think Harvey Gold flagged my channel because that video I was telling the guys to quit Harvey. I'm, I, I think I'm gonna make a Facebook, I'll make a Facebook video and tell these guys to quit on Facebook and let them share that shit around so they quit. Like I say, Harvey Gold got a YouTube channel. They, they, um, they biggest video was 160 views. I made a video that went to 880 in two days. Haha, <laughs> I'm scared to show up in Philly. You gotta check in. I don't play that shit. Uh, that's that's dumb shit. You gotta check in. How the fuck you go? For, for one month, you can't make me check in nowhere because when when Rogue Archer says about beating you up, you got scared. He live in your city. When King Jim and I was gonna beat you up, you got scared. He live in Philly. When goddamn motherfucking um uh Bubonic, you you never would talk shit about Bubonic because. Goddamn, um, all right, boys, twackers, you getting your ass out of here too, faggot, that fuck nigga. I know it is. Yeah, I know bees smell like ass. So goddamn, um, all these niggas live in Philly. All, all these niggas live in Philly. They challenge Monty to fights. Monty they challenge people in fights to fights in Philly. When they accepted the fight, he got scared. He put his fucking wife on camera and the bitch begged for Monty's life. What's happening, Mr. Mac Mellon? So, before Monty got me started, uh, oh yeah, I forgot about that. Soul Sister, who's a female. She's a female. Monty got so mad at Soul Sister to where he spilled the beans. Um, he spilled the beans. Yeah, okay, I was scared of Mike Mills. Yeah, okay. So when um, Monty spilled the beans on Soul Sisters, this is how stupid he is. He thought that Soul Sisters had emailed Twinkie some shit. Okay, he's so stupid. He thought he that Soul Sisters had emailed Twinkie some shit. And so he got on video for 30 some minutes to tell YouTube that he fucked her in a car behind a building. This nigga probably so rich, he couldn't get up. And this is what a queasy said. A queasy said this dude around here counting money on camera. This nigga set up on camera counting thirty thousand dollars, which was fake Monty, with fake fake dollar bills. We come to find out. At the time, we wasn't sure. This nigga counting all his money on camera, and he didn't think enough for you to get a hotel room. Monty we ain't had no fucking money. I remember me and Monty to talk on the phone. He was fucking this sixteen year old girl. And he, he was looking for somewhere to fuck her. I say, get a fucking hotel room. Quit being cheap. What's a $60 hotel room? $50 hotel. $70. He, 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 wouldn't, he, he wouldn't do it. Now I come to find out he didn't have the money. He didn't have that. 
This nigga probably got 10 houses. I guarantee you a house in, in Philly can make it easy run $900. So it's nine grand a month and you couldn't even come up with $75 for a hotel room. I'm, yeah, okay, Uncle Nutlegs. I, I think I think Uncle Nutlegs is a WGT dick sucker. But he came on, he went on video, and he uh, told people that he fucked soul sister behind a building. And I believe it because I remember one time I was talking to her, and she would tell me how Monty was cussing her out real bad on the phone. And I, my mind like, and you just let him cuss you out? Ain't no woman finna just let no man just talk to her any kind of way. Yeah, Monty's a janitor. That's all he ever, that's all he ever done was uh, clean up, piss and shit. So when I saw all that shit pieced together, she let Monty call her up on the phone and check her hard, check her, calling her and um, uh, Monty don't have no fucking bins. No, Monty don't have no ten houses. I think Monty's uncle got ten houses, maybe. So he came on YouTube. He said, "Look, I fuck soul sister and by Ali, her pussy was trash, but the head was the bomb." He said the same thing about uh, Sharon Fitz. I fucked Sharon Fitz. He, uh, he, I think he said she, he flew to Chicago. He probably stopped off. He made a video of this, Beasley. He made a video of this. So anyway, he made a um. He so he said the same thing about Sharon Fitz. And um, goddamn um, right, clueless. He talking about soul sister. And so even back then, I said, hey, soul sister, I said, look, man, I, I, if you and Monty got something going on, goddamn, because uh, he, he would try to push me on soul sister. He, he, tried, he tried to use soul sister to control me. Anyway, I said, look here, man, him and soul sister both lied and said they, they never did nothing together. I'm like, well, shit, if you had told the truth, I would never say nothing to the bitch because I don't want to touch none of his nasty ass and touch anyway. So Sharon Fitz and... Um, so, so they was friends. They wasn't really friends. They were trying to check up on the other person because they were trying to see the other one fuck Monty. I'm like, why y'all is being fake friends in competition over this uh, Down Syndrome ass AIDS patient with fucking baby hands and baby arms and baby shoulders and fat fingers like a fucking... Anyway, so... Monty came on YouTube. He did make a video, Beasley. He made a video. At the time when I was still, um, at the time when I was still, uh, okay, LA, you jealous of me? You jealous of me, LA? So anyway, Monty came and made a video. Um, Beasley, you the one put the fucking information out. What you talking about? <laughs> so. Monty came out and told everybody he fucked Soul Sister. Soul Sister had told Monty she was going to come to his house and beat his ass. This is a true story. Okay. First off, he thought Soul Sister had emailed somebody. And it came up to be um, Monty was wrong. She didn't email this person. And she proved, hey, I didn't email this person. And so on, on a hunch... He went and, and cooked this woman and, and told everybody he fucked her and, and bust nuts in her mouth. She got mad. She said, I'm coming to your house and I'm going to beat your motherfucking ass. This nigga got up here on video and pulled a gun on video for um, um, Soul Sister. He threatened Soul Sister with a gun on video. This nigga got scared when a woman said she's going to come to his goddamn house and beat his ass. He got scared and pulled a fucking gun on a woman. That's a bitch ass nigga I've ever seen one. That's a bitch. Yeah, yeah, Monty, man, Monty just, he, he played, Monty's done. He ain't got no talent. And then one, one reason why, why, I'm gonna tell you something else, I'm gonna tell you why your channel is dead, Monty, because you don't have no talent. Not only do you had no, I would never sit for fat, fat Sandy. Matter of fact, when I was in Tampa, Florida, a few months ago, I was like three miles up the street from Sandy. Not one time I ever went by there or tried to go by there. Why would I go by Fat Sandy's house? I'm in Tampa, Florida. Okay, you got beautiful African women's, and I say African, I mean like them Caribbean. I call any woman um um 
Okay, L.A. say how they get somebody pregnant the baby one heals. You a simp. Nigga, L.A. was going to jail for babies that weren't even heals. That's a real idiot. This nigga paid child somewhere. Well, he a deadbeat, but this nigga, he, he paid with his time. L.A. said, at, 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 look, L.A. spent 90 days in jail over kids that weren't even heals. Nigga, you spent time in jail for other niggas cheering. <laughs> You call me a fucking simp, nigga. One thing about money, you can lose money. You can get it back. You can multiply money. You can spend money. You can goddamn re rebuild it. But them 90 days, you'll never get them 90 days back. Never. Never, boy. You up here sitting in jail. And this woman knows these ain't your children. And she put you in jail over children that weren't yours because she didn't have no respect for you. She knew you was a bitch-ass nigga. I'm going to tell you, if a bitch did it to me, I'm get out of jail and I'm gonna hit that bitch in the head with a fucking pipe. I'm gonna hit that bitch across her fucking head. There ain't no bitch for to play with me like that. I'll fucking kill that bitch. I'm sitting in jail. And you know these one your children. These fucking children look like fucking I literally Mike Mills. Come on man. I done said shit multiple times. Mike Mills made a picture. He photoshopped a picture. He took all L.A. baby mamas, mashed them in a, a picture together. He put L.A. in the middle. He had all them ugly ass fucking kids in the picture. Man, some of them goddamn kids were ugly than a son of a bitch. Them children look like them. Some half them children look like a uh, big worm. The ones you you could tell the children that L.A. children. L.A. children look like a fucking tadpole by the face. L.A. kids, yeah, he was gonna kill himself over Michelle. Man, I got I got screenshots of L.A. on Facebook crying in public over Michelle, and he be pretending like he don't know who Michelle new man is. Okay, Michelle done posted pictures, and Mike Mills then repost that picture on his channel when he was roasting L.A. with with Nunu hugging Michelle from the back. And so if Mike Mills has seen his picture of Nunu and Michelle, how the fuck L.A. didn't know? That Michelle had a new man. That nigga sound like fucking Jerry Levert. I wish I had that shit on my arm. Um, remember that old song, Jerry Levert? I love you. I hope you get this message. I don't deserve this. Talking to your answering service. Michelle, I need you. I hope you get this message. I don't deserve this. Talking to your answering service, service. That was LA. Why you making parodies, nigga? Won't you make this make that parody, bitch? That, 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 that what LA was saying. Michelle, I love you. I hope you get this message. Bitch, I don't deserve this. Talking to your answering service. Ha <laughs> ha! LA say when people break up, they get somebody new. Is that a fact or not, dumb bama? Michelle got her somebody new who was really down for her. You went and you moved in with Crunchy Black, and you had Miss Khan come over. Miss Khan was playing you for your fucking reefer, bitch. <laughs> you remember, hey LA, you remember when you told me that Miss Khan was a tease, and that that Miss Khan, Miss Khan only let LA fill on her booty. And she let LA fill on, and she let you fill on her titties. And you remember you said you tried to put your hand between her legs. She uh, she 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 closed her legs. She closed her legs. Remember the LA? And you said that um, you tried to get her suck that dick, and she act like she was scared to suck. She wasn't scared to suck that dick. She didn't want to suck your nasty dick. I guarantee you, if I was on that couch with Miss Con, I bet if I had to pull my pants down, I bet she would slob this fucking dick. I bet she would have slob my dick. I bet, I, yeah, she, yeah, she did con him. She con him for her drugs. She smoked all L.A. reefer. <laughs> she smoked all his reefer and left. And she said, and then she like, yeah, man, I thought you had that Al Green, nigga. You got that Bobby Brown. <laughs> the nigga had low-grade weed on top of that. She smoked all your weed. That weed, that was your chance to, um, to, um, to make money for you and your kids. Miss Khan smoked up your kid's legacy. She smoked up your kid's inheritance. Miss Khan smoked your weed up. She didn't give you no pussy. What up, Ghost Rider? She didn't give you no pussy, LA. 
She didn't let you kiss her in the mouth. But LA claimed he don't like kissing hoes in the mouth. She didn't she didn't give you no pussy, LA. She didn't let you kiss her in the fucking mouth. All she ever did will let you touch her booty. She let you rub on her titties. And when you try to fill on that pussy, she slammed her legs closed. And then you try to push her head down and she told you uh she don't she she's scared to suck her dick. She ain't scared. For one, your dick little and it's crusty. Now if I had to pull this this I had to pull this big ass dick out on her, Miss Khan, if I had to pull this big ass dick out on Miss Khan, Miss Khan would have got down. First she would have looked at it like, God damn, that's a big pretty ass dick. Then she would have played with it a little bit. I said, look here, quit playing with that motherfucker. Okay? Yeah. I said, quit playing that motherfucker. She would have sucked that dick. And then she would have rolled my dick on the couch. She would have rolled my dick on the couch. And I would have fucked Miss Khan for at least three rounds. And the thing about me, Miss Khan is like a hood rat. I would have fucked a dog shot Miss Khan. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even sweat it. I'd be like, uh, I don't know what L.A. said. What did he say? Because he's a stupid ass nigga. I, I, I ain't even read his dumb ass nigga comments. But I'm going to say, you see how L.A. Didn't, didn't deny what I just said. You see, then the now I just said, Miss Khan teased him. She teased her. All nigga did was fill on her booty. He was filling on that booty. Booty. But shit. LA, I, I'm not sure if LA said she let him suck them titties. What up, what up, Voltron? I'm not sure if LA said she let him suck them titties or not. LA, since you here, did Miss Khan let you, let you suck them titties? I know she ain't let you fuck, and I know she ain't let you play with her pussy. And I wouldn't let you touch my pussy if I was a woman, cause for one, he got them long, nasty fingernails. LA real, his fingernails long and nasty. And you and you know LA don't wash his fucking hands. LA type nigga go and, and, and take a shit and not wash his hands. This nigga take a shit, not wash his goddamn hands, go make them cheering a sandwich with them long ass, nasty fingernails. He wanna play between women's legs. He got dirt on his nails trying to trying to put his hands on a woman's pussy. This nigga disgusting. And so to answer your question, LA say people find somebody new. Okay. <laughs> yeah, his his finger is like dookie strapers. Miss London, man, I'm tell you, J baby, fuck Miss London. Miss London sat for years and years sucking wood grain dick, getting on it on it, on their phone line, talking shit. This is why Monty flipped on Miss London. I don't mind repeating it. Uh, Monty got mad because Miss London be in other people's chat rooms, and he flipped on her for that. Monty type of people say, "Let me catch you over there again. It's gonna be trouble." Miss London probably told him, "Hey, man, you ain't my daddy, or whatever." So he said, "Look, I'm gonna I'm roast you." Miss London shut her whole channel down. So UK Divine Queen, you need to go on take notes. I, I mean, I don't care what y'all do to wood grain. Y'all can take all that abuse. But every, every time this happens, all they do is prove me right. Every time I talk about what a piece of shit Monty is. Yeah, a bunch of got long toenails. Man, LA just disgusting. Okay, Reef, if I'm lying, make a video and tell what happened. Because you, you, cause you, cause every time somebody fall out with the wood grain, you be the first dick sucker to make a video trying to use big words that you don't know nothing about. So reach make a video and tell us what really happened. And then what you need to do, Miss London? I'm talking shit about you right now because you talk plenty of shit about me over the years, you bitch. What you need to do, okay? You need to come on YouTube and cook Monty. Same way LJ did. LJ cooked Monty. He, he cooked him. And LJ is a, is, a, is a hero. He's a YouTube. You, LJ is his own YouTuber now. You got some YouTubers, like, even though Clifton Rainey a bitch, Clifton Rainey is a, he's a whole YouTuber. LA is a whole YouTuber. Jimmy is a complete person. LJ became a complete person when he cooked Monty. Miss London, if you want to be a complete person, you need to cook that nigga. He said he got information on you. Fuck it, let him let him drop it. As a matter of fact, I don't. I, either way, however, however it go, it's fine with me. So like I say, 
Well, she's not a roaster, but it don't matter. She, cause I, if Monty dropped the information, I might, I might cook her my damn self. All these years, cause she the one who called the FBI on Jimmy. Miss London and the Quine, Vine Queen, they the ones who called the FBI on Jimmy. So fuck them. So go and release that information. Release it. And Miss London looked like she might be a halfway decent looking woman. I don't know. I didn't see her face. I saw her hands. I saw her feet. I saw her legs. She like she might be decent. She real high yellow. Oh uh, yeah, you can put me down as a, as a reference. That, that reference gonna get thrown. Hey, you can do it. But um, I mean, I, I mean, ain't too much more to say about um. Okay, Reef, there you go with your fuckery. That's why I can't stand you, Reef, because you a bitch ass nigga. Reef said you made a troll account of Monty's daughter. Monty made a troll account of my daughter. And then he also made a fake video. Him and AJ, yeah, she she got some decent feet. He made a uh he he made a troll account. Hell yeah, dudes. Like Linear Tech, are you a man or a woman? I can tell you, I think you're a woman. Yes, men love women's feet, okay? Men love it. I remember Morpheus he's like, man, he sent me an inbox. Man, look at this shit here. I said, you know what? I, I can't I can't enjoy this shit because I can't stand her. I can't stand it, bitch. So I don't want to see the whole feet. I can't stand it, bitch. I don't give a fuck what her feet look like. I can't stand her. So, pretty feet or not, I can't stand it, bitch. I don't get it. Bitch can look like a model. I still cook her ass. Monty flipped on Miss London because Miss London be, was in Mike Mills' chat room. And Mike, she be in other people's chat room. And Monty uh, cooked her for that. I know I ain't Monty. Uh, I think Monty threatened her. And she shut her channel down. But um, back to you, Reef. I'm so sick of you, Reef. You are you a bitch ass nigga. I can't stand you. You another one, Reef. I slap the dog shit out your stinking ass because you sit up here with Monty. You see all this fuck shit Monty do. He say I made a troll account of Monty's daughter, but this at the same time Monty made a, 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 a video with my daughter pitching it, saying I raped my daughter. At the time, my daughter was um. I think she was about 13 years old. He said that I stuck my dick in my daughter and I had my daughter pussy bleed. Uh, what else he said? He said he got, he got court records of me going to prison for 10 years for molesting my kids. And some of y'all dumbass, um, uh, some of y'all dumbass will believe in that shit. People like, did that happen? I said, don't ask me no stupid ass question like that, bitch. How the fuck? Could I could I go to prison in the military, get out of the prison, and then get a job working at a jail, and then get a passport, an international passport to go work on a fucking boat? I said, y'all the dumbest motherfuckers I ever seen. Also, if I was a, if I was with the jail for a child molestation, sex offenders can't have a YouTube accounts, they can't have Facebook accounts, none of that. <coughs> <coughs> I know that because a guy I worked in a boat with. He was like, man, I wish I could have a Facebook. I said, why can't you? He said, yeah, I went to jail for child molestation. <laughs> so, I'm like, y'all some stupid sons of bitches. So after Monty and A.J. Johnson pulled that stupid ass shit, I started making troll accounts his fucking daughter. Hell yeah. And then I made troll accounts of uh, his daughter. And I was going on on only on different races uh, ch channels. And I was talking mad shit. I was threatening them. I was inviting them to shootouts. They're like, yeah, man, yeah, Misha, yeah, Misha, you black bitch. I say, I tell you what, bitch, if you I say, bitch, I bet you won't. I say, bitch, you won't probably say, man. I was like, yeah, my my daddy will kill you. My daddy, my daddy ain't Lamont Haley. He'll kill you. And I used to invite them to Philadelphia for shootouts and stuff. I did all that, but I did it for a reason. <laughs> all right, suck Norris going live. And we still don't care. Bobby Norris, for one, your mouthpiece is garbage. You People like to talk about me being a country-ass Bama, but I bet you I'm a better speaker, a better orator than Bobby Norris. Bobby Norris, you sound stupid, man, when you talk. All right, so L.A. in the chat room to my tail chaos to take the furniture challenge. What I'm going to do, I'm going to screenshot this. This is... This, 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 um, Image LA and I'm, I'm gonna send uh, chaos these screenshots of you saying he ain't got no furniture. But this is what I really want you to do LA. Since chaos 
wife disrespected you, I don't give a fuck how big chaos is. I don't give a fuck chaos can beat my ass or not. I'm not going to let chaos wife disrespect me. And I don't give a fuck. Chaos would be a dead man. His wife disrespecting me. He telling you that you got that that, 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 that you got to take that disrespect. But yeah, my wife. I know my wife disrespected you, Lamar. But if you if you don't just take this disrespect, I'm gonna beat your ass. And then I'm gonna tell you if, if chaos didn't. This is something I gotta agree with LA. If LA say chaos wife was disrespecting him, chaos should have said, hey, you need to stop that. Cause I'm gonna tell you something. My kids is being disrespectful. I'm going to check them first. My wife, my kids, anybody being disrespectful to somebody that I, I am friends with, I'm going to check them. Don't, don't do that. I'm going to check them before you have to. So chaos set up and let his wife disrespect you, not checking her. And you came to him like a man. Look at chaos, your wife disrespectful. I don't like it. You need to talk to her. Okay? And he told you, listen, my wife can disrespect you any kind of way she want. Say something else about it. I'ma beat your little short, womanly hip ass. What made that stud like attracted to Lamar? Uh, Lamar was. I'ma tell you what made that stud like attracted to Lamar. Lamar is a stud dyke himself. Him and that stud dyke was hanging out. They was friends. They was smoking weed together, hanging out. Just like I told, you, like I on broke back mountain. Them two guys was on the mountain and they got drunk. And the dude fucked the other one in the ass. They got drunk. And Lamar fucked that. He fucked that stud. He fucked Crunchy Black and got that bitch pregnant. The dyke is a dyke, but she... I'm going to tell you, even though a lesbian might be a lesbian... Lesbians, they like penetration. Lesbians love having stuff inside their pussy. So Lamar looked like a woman. I did read it. He said, Kevin, you cooked your son on YouTube. Nobody respect you, Kevin. That's fine. I just read it. L.A. son, L.A. son cooked him every time he, he, he came up. Man, L.A. son be doing these stupid ass reaction videos. His son fake just like him. L.A. LA son fake just like his goddamn daddy. He did a, a reaction video. They had his, um, they had, um, L.A. say Kevin White never gave him head. Guess what, L.A.? With one won't, another will. With one won't, another will. Remember, LA, you wouldn't you wouldn't pay no bills. So guess what? Michelle found another nigga who would pay bills. Capiche? Capiche, LA? You wouldn't pay bills, Michelle found a man who would. Okay? So fill in the blanks, LA. Fill in the goddamn blanks. So, um, anyway, Lamar's son be doing all kinds of homosexual ass shit on camera. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Lamar's, Lamar's girlfriend, she look good. Little, little chocolate, little heifer. And you know Lamar. And now I'm telling you, that's the only reason Lamar even want to spend time with his son. Because Lamar trying to fuck his girl. But get with Lamar. Give it up. You too old. You washed up. That shit ain't going to work. You got lung cancer. You got dirty ass fucking teeth. Nigga, you got like 14. Yeah, boy, that girl ain't finna give you a damn piece of pussy. That's why he done found a cure to cancer. And she gonna get in the lab. And, 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 and how can you find a cure to cancer and send her to the lab to do it? L.A., you a, you a clown. He got the cure to cancer. He got the cure to fucking herpes. Fuck out of here, nigga. Uh... Black Sherman say Michelle found a 67 year old sugar daddy named Sweet Willie. I'm going to tell you what, um, Michelle, Michelle been fucking around in L.A. for about the last three years, though. L.A. told me this straight up. He said, man, that bitch cheating on me. I don't blame her. Chaos confirmed it. The woman asked you to get a job over and over. She was trying to save the relationship. She was trying to save the relationship. She asked this nigga to get a job. Hey, suck, Norris. Cut that shit out. She asked Lamar, she asked, she asked Lamar to get a fucking job. He too fucking trifling to get a job and keep a job. She said, fuck it. She started cheating on him. She, I mean, she leave home. And these niggas at work, these niggas got, these niggas got belts. They wear belts. They pull, they got their pants pulled up. They got their shirt tucked in. These niggas smell good. These niggas wash their hands. These niggas take showers. These niggas brush their teeth. These niggas, these niggas, these niggas dress like grown men. And she got to look at L.A. Um, 
And she was cheating on L.A. She was cheating. Ain't that right, L.A.? Every time I see you, I get a bad vibe. Uh, 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 uh. I know some nigga at your job been between your thighs. Michelle, tell the truth. Tell the truth, Michelle. She sure did tell the truth. She said, hey, L.A., you got to go. L.A., what you need to do is tell us tell the story of how Michelle told you to get the fuck out. Tell us a story how Michelle told you to get the fuck out. You beat Michelle up, went to sleep, and Nunu told you to get the fuck out. Nunu said, I don't really know I'm beat your ass because you can your little ugly ass cheer and standing here. The nigga a pimp. He talked about me being a simp. I'm not sure if she would cheat. Nigga, if you a pimp, you supposed to, you told me you supposed to know your bitch. So you didn't know your bitch? I'm not sure, nigga. You told me, LA. You now you lying, LA. I say, LA, you don't know that woman cheating on you. And I was trying to protect you from going to jail for murder. And at the time, I forgot that you was a pussy, that you ain't finna kill shit. So I thought L.A. might end up hurting Michelle. So I said, look, L.A., you don't know what she did. He said, I know my bitch. I know my bitch. Then you said, L.A., I know my bitch. That bitch cheating on me, man. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> you did, too, with that, L.A. I know my bitch. I know my bitch. I know my bitch. I know my bitch. Hell yeah, that bitch was cheating on your monk ass. She was at the job. Fucking niggas in a broom. I bet you Michelle was selling that pussy to the job. I was cheating so it really don't matter. Fact. You right, it don't matter. You cheat on her with, with Eva Brown. All in Atlanta, Georgia. You cheat on her with Tina in, Mon in, in Miami, Florida. You cheating on her with um Jamila in uh, Atlanta, Georgia. You would cheat on her with women that stay a thousand miles away that you would never meet in person. You would cheat on her with women that curved you. Tina curved you. Eva curved you. You got curved by everybody on YouTube. Nobody want to give you no pussy, L.A. I ain't never seen I ain't never seen that one woman come and say L.A. is fucking handsome or uh, nothing. Who am I disrespecting, um, Mr. J? Nah, Bobby ain't get no pussy. Um, he ain't get no pussy in Clueless. But the thing with L.A. can't get no pussy in real life. See, L.A. days are getting pussy over with. L.A. washed up. See, L.A. was able to do that shit when he was young. L.A. He, he was a little old. Oh, I mean, I, Michelle, my friend, but the truth, the truth, Michelle was fucking around. Them niggas were paying Michelle. <laughs> Just like you cheat on your wife. Men are so dumb. We cheat, get caught, and still believe our woman won't. I don't give a fuck what they do, L.A. I don't give a fuck what a bitch do. A bitch can do whatever. As long as she don't fuck with my goddamn money. That's all. Don't fuck with my goddamn money, and we'll be okay. Speaking of money, I got about three more months. Hold up. I got about three more months, and I'm off of child support. No more child support. L.A., how many more years you got left on child support, pussy? How many more years you got? I'm almost done with child support. And I still look young. I can still fuck a young bitch if I wanted to. I don't have to lie and say I'm 20. I tell a bitch my real age. A pile of people. My, my uncle my uncle got a crush on Michelle. He, he say he say he want to, he say he want to, um... He say he want to piss all over Michelle's body. Yeah, yeah, Lamar going to die with court papers in hand. Lamar going to die. Lamar going, he going, he going, he going to die in jail. He going to die in jail. He going to die in jail over child support for kids that ain't even his. This nigga sit up on YouTube. I just found out that my daughter is not really my daughter. What up, power of people? I just found, he act like he's sad. You don't care about your kids. <laughs> I just found out that child number four is not mine. So I had 14 kids. Now I got 10. It's not my child. Acting like you sad. Nigga, you don't give a fuck about your kids. That fucking channel you got when you got your, when you holding your daughter, you take that shit down for many reasons. Number one, you need to take that fucking, you need to take that goddamn channel down because for one, 
You don't give a fuck about your, your daughter. That's one reason you can take that fucking uh, picture down off your channel. Another reason to take that goddamn picture down off your channel because you got ugly ass cheer in L.A. Take that shit down. Number two, uh, no, reason number three, we don't give a fuck about you, your fatherhood claims. We don't give a fuck. Ain't nobody gonna look at you in a positive light just because you holding your fucking child. That's number four reason. Take that shit down. So, uh, you need to take that goddamn picture down. You and your daughter. We don't give a fuck about you and your daughter. Relationship, because it ain't no relationship. And then you're fucking, you got ugly ass children. Don't nobody want to see that fucking shit. Then you ugly. Okay? Bobby, get your punk ass. He keep on saying I'm going live. Ain't nobody finna leave this, this chat to go to yours. Nobody finna leave this feed to go to yours, Bobby Norris. Nobody. Shit. <laughs> yeah, now if Bobby go live and cook LA, I, I'll shut this down. But he not gonna do that though. <laughs> so LA, then on another channel, LA got a picture of some woman's chest. Like, what's that supposed to do, L.A.? It supposed to make us look at you like you some kind of a player? You got a picture of a woman's chest, and that's supposed to be supposed to think, oh, L.A.'s a lie. He's a real player. I'm a real player because I got a picture of a woman's chest on my avatar. And then your son talking about some two girls, one ma. Like, we don't give a fuck. Your son got a video game channel. He come to us and say, hey, I'm, I'm Mr. Two Girls. One more. If I'm watching video games, I don't care if you got one girl, two girls, or three. Okay? Then he told me he two girls, one more. And he got a, a Snapchat filter on like a bitch. What up, Edward Hill? This nigga, nigga got on a fucking a, a, a dog nose filter on Snapchat like a fucking girl. That's the gayest shit I've ever seen for a man to get on Snapchat with a fucking dog nose. Your son a fucking dog nose faggot. Snapchat fuck nigga. That's what your son is. That's why last month I told that nigga I want to fight his faggot ass. I don't really want to fight your son to hurt him. I want to fight your son to beat the fag out of his ass. I want to beat the sissy out of him because he's a fucking sissy. Your son the biggest bitch I've ever seen. I don't hear doing these reaction videos. Hey, hey, come watch my reaction to this. Fake as hell. It's like his goddamn dad. He watched his video about drunk driving. Uh, it's like this video with drunk driving. He don't act like he finna cry. Watch this video. <sighs> Cause woman, she ain't like this woman. Like it's like a, a public service now against drunk driving. And the woman, she like pregnant. She like, yeah, I'm dead. My baby's dead. So you know, I was expecting a baby. He gonna pause the video. You a bitch ass nigga. You a bitch ass nigga for drunk driving. You a bitch ass nigga. I'm like, get your fake faggot ass, cause your dad is a drunk driver. You know damn well Lamar was. You know damn well La Lamar drank a whole goddamn, uh, a whole goddamn jug of Thunderbird and jumping that raggedy ass fucking Benz and drive drunk. You know he'll do it. Whole ass nigga. You and your son both make me sick, L.A. Your son make me sick. Yeah, L.A. got a lot of kids to prove he a man. He got them womanly hips. L.A. got molested. L.A. got slapped. He get all these women pregnant to try to prove a point. And guess what, nigga? We still. I can't jab Lamar Jr. in the neck with that punch. I would even try to jab Lamar. I'll just grab his last. i grab him. You know what? I, <laughs> I mean, you know, I, 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 I wouldn't even try to punch Lamar. He probably too fast. I just grab him. But the thing about Lamar, Junior, you grab Lamar, that nigga probably feel like a woman. You, you, ever, you ever wrestle with a woman and your dick get on hard? Shit, I'd I, I be scared to grab Lamar Junior. He probably, he probably feel like a woman. Like, he probably feel like a fucking woman. Faggot ass. I bet Lamar Jr. smell like a woman, everything. This nigga's a bitch, man. He a bitch. You, you built like a woman, and this nigga smell like a woman, and your son got a lot of woman hormones in his body, just like you. That's why your son was on video dancing and twerking with a whole gang of dudes behind him. And I know, I know all them dudes in that video probably fucked your son, too. 
I bet your song can stick up. I got this little Bluetooth speaker right here. Your song has this whole speaker and shove it up his goddamn ass with no trouble. I bet your son go to Best Buy sticking these in his booty hole. He be stealing out of Best Buy. And nigga get these little speakers and he put them in his booty hole and get out and, and leave out and sell them. That's what your son need to do. Make, 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 make a use of his talent. Get your son to get some cocaine and put them in like a little bag like this. Get your son to get some cocaine and slip cocaine in his booty hole. And your son can make a lot of money as a mule. As a fucking mule. Like you was in prison, LA. I know you was in prison. You was a mule in prison. You was you was you was you was taking cell phones and put them in your asshole. You were taking all kinds of shit, put in your asshole, tobacco in your ass, all that. Your son, he need to do that too. That's the fucking family business. I don't know who many is. Who is many? If you talk about many Ripperton, many Ripperton been dead for a long time. So you can't be talking about that many. But um I wanna get back on this right quick. LA LA don't visit dad at all. LA 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 mad at his daddy because his dad, oh Minnie Mandela. Okay, yeah, okay. I'm glad she was able to live to see what they doing in South Africa. I'm glad she's able to see that. <laughs> you get out, go back, you be taking the land back. I love that. But um like I was saying, LA um my boy Monty, Monty's such a faggot and a coward. He won't, he won't cook Chris. He won't cook New Jersey finest. We he been punked out by four different dudes in Philadelphia, and now he wanna, he wanna flip on Miss London for no reason. And to me, that is really weak. Yes, Winnie Mandela. I like who is Minnie? Do I think LA make more money? Me? No. No. I wouldn't want to make my money that way. I don't know who pay LA, but whoever I'll tell you so. On my on my on my African Science Academy channel, I might set up a link for PayPal or whatever. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna do real talk videos on the African Science Academy channel, cause just the last few days I don't watch Jason Black and Tyreek both talk about how we don't need people's because a woman had called Jason Black say look we, we we all got this knowledge we got this when are we gonna get together and put our money together and just actually start building stuff instead of sitting around talking about it a woman uh no 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 Tyreek no another woman asked Tyreek okay the economics as as, as uh, most of us individuals can't do this, but as a as a group we can. Tyreek said we don't need to do that. Jason Black and Tyreek both said we don't need to do that. Like come together and, and as groups and put our money like that, and we need to do it on an individual level. But when Tyreek wants some, when Tyreek wants some, he wants you to group up to do some. Jason Black wants you to group up to do some, but then as as for the whole community as a whole. He said we ain't we don't need to do that. So man, fuck that. Tyreek and Jason Black, all they do is take up money for documentaries, which ain't helping nobody but they sell. You know what I'm saying? Hidden Color did his thing. He could have stopped that Hidden Colors number two. He could have stopped that Hidden Colors two. I think every time he do a new Hidden Colors, all he do is take away from what one and two was. One and two, that was it. Three, I didn't care. Uh, more Russ, I don't know. Uh, you ask Tyreek. Tyreek full of it. All I know is Morris could have could have shut the game. Morris could have shut down Facebook and YouTube because Facebook they got they got things where you could put videos up. So imagine if you could if Morris if he all I had to do was I mean Morris could have shut down Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram, and he lied about that. So okay, we 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 got a code. This is the thing, Black TMZ. Like right now, I want I want to do a Black Taxi Mobile. But there's so many Uncle Toms live in Mobile. Mobile is not a conscious place. Mississippi is not a conscious place. I'm gonna tell you where you got a lot of people who got black conscious, black knowledge, New York and New Jersey and Philly. New York, New Jersey, and Philly. But I'm gonna tell you, when the South do get that conscious knowledge, that's when you're gonna see a real change. Even Bobby Hemmett said the uh the, 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 the southern black man is gonna be the one to really 
change things. It's always that way. But like all of us on this on this thing, I, yeah, we got 57 people right here. All 57 of us is, is conscious in, a, in in our own way, but we all live spread out. So that's why I had one of that black tax. You could take people that spread out and put their money together and just do stuff. You can't really do nothing in your in this city, and even New York. I mean, I mean, I don't, I never been to New York. Houston and Dallas is conscious. Yes. Houston and Dallas. Um, I want to say conscious places. Houston, Dallas. New York, New Jersey, Philly. And that's about it. And then Oakland. Those are conscious places. But they all spread out. But in between that, I live in Alabama. And I, I bet about five or six people here who conscious. But I know it's more than that. But like I say, a blah. Uh, can I be woke and still like white? You could be woke and still like pussy. Most black men don't like white women. Most black men like pussy. And for the for the record, the most black men actually turn down more pussy than they than they should. Cause I know for a fact I had so many white women flirt, flirt with me. It's on a regular basis, and I and I play dumb and I just blow it off. Whereas a lot of black women they 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 try to um they they try to make you um beg and. All this stuff and the white women, they, they be throwing that pussy like shit. This pussy right here. So, um, you could be woke and still like pussy. Yeah, you could be woke and like pussy. Um, uh, a white woman is basically uh, like a, a toy or a pet, really. So, it's a toy and a pet. I mean, I don't get mad at a black dude for getting a, a white woman pregnant. For one, I done seen most black dudes. When they give these white girls, these white girls, they, they, they take on black, black mannerism. These white girls, they want to be black. Once they start taking that black wood, white girl, black girls who give white boys, they go, they, they become Uncle Tom's. I done met a plenty of white girls who shit damn near is gangster, and I ain't to my ratchet. Ratchet is not gangster. I seen a plenty of black, white women who was just as gangster as is a black as black woman. And I say gangster, I mean they 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 they, they down for what's right, and they are taught you. So yeah, so you can be woke and like pussy. So if you see a black man just fucking a, a, a woman. Don't forget, a man can fuck a woman that he never met before. Fuck her and then pull his pants up and pretend like nothing happened. And go on by this business. So, I don't go by that. Yeah. You do a lot of in-home work. And these wouldn't be long. Linear tech, I don't be know if you be a man or a woman sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but like I was saying yeah like a catch me outside girl you better believe it catch me outside girl she a little kid I think she's like 15 years old now you better believe when they catch I cut my wig off it was time Morris was a scam that's all I can think about Drayden May Morris was a scam or I know the scam because you don't ask for don't let me tell you something Tyreek uh, asked for donations for Morris that wasn't the way to do it Tyreek should ask for uh, uh, investors. Morris was a Morris was a was a surefire winner. Morris was a winner. Morris was gonna make him a billionaire. Okay, he didn't want no investors. He said, "I don't want no investors because black people are janky on investing." Uh, uh, it's just it, all these stupid excuses. Okay, man, I thought there's a snake head jumped out the tree or something. I'm like, God damn. Cause a snake will jump out of a goddamn tree. Anyway. Alright. Um He didn't want no investors. He wanted donators. Why? Because if he had investors, he was responsible, he was accountable to his investors. But if you donate the money, he could just take the money, put it in his pocket, go to Hawaii, 
and then say that um he had some some janky promoters. But if he had investors, he would have been he would have been um responsible and accountable. Yeah, I would debate. I would debate. Hell yeah, but uh, Sinetta is a sissy. But yeah, I would debate. I mean, I would debate him all day long. I mean, the truth is the truth. I sure would. But um, that's why I did the African Science Academy channel because I'm going to start doing real talks over there. And I'm not going to be over here arguing with L.A. and Monty. And I am I'm, I'm, I'm I'm I might, I might link my PayPal to that channel. So if y'all want to... Um, Donate you can. I'm not gonna be here begging for donations. I'm not gonna be selling no goddamn wrenches. None of that fucking shit. True, black sheriff. It ain't nothing to debate. I mean, we've been debating for since the 90s. These niggas dress up like Power Rangers and sip and debate. It's entertainment. That's why I came to Black Tax. I say fuck all this. The black t and then the black tax was so fucking uh it was perfect because a lot of people, they not able to get out here and march and do all this. And all the black, all you had to do was just, it just uh, click a button and send five bucks every week. That's the easiest thing you can do. Five bucks. Five bucks a week. And like I say, if you get like a million people donating five bucks, that's five million a week. If you can get three million people to donate five bucks a week, that's 15 million a week. At the end of a month, that's 60 million. You're right. I do need it on a bigger platform. That's why I asked Tyreek Nasheed and Jason Black and uh, Jughead George to help me, and they wouldn't help me. So at that point, I was done with them. I was done with them. I was done. Because I know that they're not for real. All they want to do... See, the Black Tank is good when, you, when, they, when they want you to get them money. It's Okay. Uh, but when it was me, no, nah, I'm not gonna help you, Kevin. I don't, you know, I don't go door to door here a lot because a lot of uncle, man, I'm telling you, these people may, in Mobile, they, they sicken me. People in Mobile sicken me. I, I mean, it's just sickening. They make me sick to my fucking stomach. How fucking bitch made Uncle Tom, unfucking woke, unconscious they are. Like I ever now, people who who in my on my Facebook, where the money go? It'll go back to people who who donate. If you donate, if you donate five dollars a week, you could come and say, "Look, I want to build this." And like I said, if you getting five, and everybody's not business minded, and I say that because I, I might um, I might go to churches and say, "Look, the churches y'all need to get together." The churches, because I think Mobile got over like a thousand churches. That's ridiculous. I looked in the phone book one day. Mobile got almost a thousand churches. <laughs> that shit is stupid as hell. Right. And like I said with the black man, every time I drive him down the street, I I I I look I look at like I look at like empty lots or ran down buildings. I say, man, this could be a movie theater. I mean, I don't know who all live in black neighborhoods who watching me, but I thought it'd be it'll be awesome if you can walk out your house and within walking distance in a black neighborhood, you can go to a movie theater. And I mean, I, I, I move it through with these big, gigantic IMAX screens. You can go to a movie theater and watch Hidden Colors. I had a whole, I had a whole setup. I, I was like, I say, look, I had a whole set like, okay, with the black tax, you can, the black tax can actually fund. You know how Chris Rock do these comedy specials and all he, he do these HBO specials, right, Aldofo? You know how Chris Rock do these comedy specials where they show him in London. In New York and then in LA and they'll cut back and forth for he while he doing his jokes. Alright, homeless Mexican, you getting out of here too, because I'm talking serious. Come back in five minutes, bro. So uh then the old white man made him second guess himself. And then they clown him. Yeah. Right, right. I mean, my um, yeah, the church is full of the fakest people. But I would love, like, let's say you you live in a black neighborhood, you gonna you can put your shoes on, walk out the house and go to a gym. I mean, a real gym in a black in a black part of town. You don't have to drive across town. Or oh, if you go, you can wake up, 
What up, Cash Money? Or you go to a movie theater, like I had an idea, like let's say these lectures they do. The same way like Chris Rock had these comedy specials, I, I, I had to sit like with well, Tyreek Nasheed and Umar and um, Dick Gregory, he dead now. Nah. Where they could do these lecture specials. Where they could do these lectures and you have it filmed with a professional film crew, have it edited, directed by a real director and they could have these lectures and you go to the movie theaters and watch the lectures on the big screen you go pay for a movie ticket and sit in the movie theater and watch a, a Tariq Nasheed lecture and, and it's put together but if I did a Tariq Nasheed lecture I, I, if I was director I'm gonna nigga change his goddamn clothes for Tariq to be a rich ass man that nigga, that nigga dressed like a fucking clown <laughs> I don't know who Todd Capital is. I, I don't really fuck with these invest, investment clubs. I, I might look him up, but a lot of these investment clubs, I don't know. <sighs> but like I say, you can uh, wake up in a, a black neighborhood. You got a movie theater in your part of town. You got a, a gym. I wanted what black people had their own urgent care centers on the black side of town. And these is like top notch, brand new. <laughs> and I was going to have it to well. Everything that we, we do, we build it from the ground up. We build it from the ground up and you hire black builders to build it. So now you got the construction industry. You got black folks in the construction industry expanding. You got black architects. I hire black architects, black uh, engineers, black construction crew. This on the black tax. So when, when you build something... <laughs> David Taylor. I don't have no problem with a pastor making money. Cause I feel like a pastor, he, he do a service. But the same, it's gotta be a balance. Like, God damn, nigga. But that, and that's why I had the black take. Cause people come to church and they and they, when people in church really in need, they can't get nothing. The pastor say, I'll pray for you when you need something. But when the pastor needs something, he say, Look here, I need that fucking money. Put it in his plate. He only tell you, put this goddamn money. I don't need, I don't want to hear your lip service. Put this money right here. But when you need something, y'all pray for you. When you go to church, like, look, man, my, my son finna graduate. My son need a job. The church can't help you do shit. And like, I like, so I'm, I don't know why the church never even thought to even start building up black, black America, black Wall Street again. Because if all your members is poor, guess what? The church is going to be poor. So the church sit up here and they're trying to squeeze poor people for money. The church will sit up and squeeze people that's barely getting by for all their money. If the church had members who own businesses, who had good jobs, these people could, could tithe and contribute to the church. When you go to a church, you might have the 15 or 20 percent of the members who actually put in and the church actually running. I went to my old church. The church building got paid off back in the late 80s. OK. I went to church a few months, like a couple of months ago, and they talking about a fucking building fund. I'm like, this fucking church, this building paid off. The, 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 the building is paid off. Right. But this thing. You got Black Wall Street, but you can rebuild it. As a matter of fact, I mean, with the black tax, I, 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 I would set up, like, like I, 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 I would target certain cities, Chicago, Tulsa. Atlanta is the closest thing you can you see to Black Wall Street. But I have certain cities like um, Birmingham, Montgomery, Mobile, fucking um, Miss, uh, Jackson, Mississippi. Shit, Goldport, all these cities. I, all, I have all these black cities, and I, 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 I would target all these. I mean, you could build wherever, but I would, I would target these cities, and I would tell black people who live up north, come back down south. Like Michigan, all them black people in Michigan, they need to leave that fucking place. Let that shit, let, let, leave that place. <laughs> leave it. But yeah, I mean, and then like I say, with with a black tax, you actually put the movies out that you want to put out, like the movie about the Haitian Revolution. Actually, do a real movie the same way they did um the Dat Turner movie and all the other stuff. All right, my phone finna go dead, and we at one forty. I know about that black sheriff, but we can we can rebuild. If you think about it, about it, we see you think we already know what happened, so we 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 know what happened, so we we don't let that happen again. But 
the black tax need to happen. So that's why I linked my other channel. I'm gonna start doing real talks over there. I'm not gonna be doing roasting so they can't flag it. And I'm, I'm gonna just talk about real stuff over there. It might be good parts of Michigan, but I'm gonna tell you what, it's too cold up there. It's too cold up there for black people. Like, I'm gonna tell you like Alabama, Georgia, Mississippi, that, 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 that'd be the capital. Well, you can make you can do whatever you want with the black tax money. You can make a movie. I mean, I, I would make a movie about, about about Philadelphia when they bombed them people in Philadelphia in 1985. I would call the movie 1985. I would make a movie about uh, Tulsa. I'll call it Tulsa about Black Wall Street getting burnt down. I mean, I, I make I make a lot of movies. We do have a line. We we got our own line of defense. Let me tell you some money. Let me tell you what black people used to do back in the day. You're not from the South. Back when I was a kid, every black person had a fucking shotgun behind a fucking door. It's like in um, um, Tulsa. Every black person down South had a fucking shotgun and a fucking kendo stick behind a fucking door. So if you came to their house with that bullshit, they're going to shoot the shit out your ass. Guess what, Drake May? The Asians don't have no military down here. The Mexicans don't have no military down here. And the difference between black folks and Asians and Mexicans, we not cowards like them. So let's not let's not talk that 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 that, that um that scared that that fearful talk, Drake Mays. We do have our own military. We our own military. It's called defend yourself. All right, we we be our own protection. I just told you, Drake. Shit, buy a gun. If I I'll tell you what, if I ran a business. If I ran a business and somebody came here, let's say let's, let's say the Black Wall, let's say the Black Wall Street start popping off all over America, and he had some white people coming. For one, these businesses would be inside our our own parts. It would be in our neighborhoods. So when people come in our neighborhoods, we know they don't belong. We need to get on code. And I'm gonna tell you something. When they, we get on code, and if people come in that bullshit, shoot them. That's how. That's the military. People come over that bullshit, shoot them. I, I, I guarantee you, if I ran, if I ran a business and somebody say, "Look, I'm gonna charge you protection," I will kill them. And that's probably the difference between my um, if they um, well, this is the thing on the show. It's people smarter than me can, can come up with ideas about the uh military, but that's not no excuse for not trying to build for yourself. So you are gonna stay poor for all your life. If, let's say let's, let's say the black tax was real, and you had a you had a, you had the opportunity to build whatever business you want that you always dreamed of having, and you gonna not do it because somebody gonna get me? Come on, man. If the black tax was real, I say I want to build me a movie theater. I'll build me about five or six different businesses, and I'll build them, and I would not be scared to build it because we don't have a military. That's bullshit. I'm gonna build it. Quit being scared. That's the thing. That's the thing. Quit being scared. Well, look what they did to Black Wall Street. Okay, let's let's rebuild it. We know what they did. So now we um <laughs> right. So anyway, <clears throat> I thought about it, like and then on top of that, like with the black tax, we just build like a and then with, the, with the black tax, we we could build up we we could buy up real estate by the by the millions of acres. I am gonna do a, a fundraiser. That's why I link my other channels. Black police officers in here get black security, just like they had the Guardian Angels in New York. We can have our own fucking uh, Black Panthers. The thing is, a black anyway, black tax could solve every problem. Every problem y'all just named, money solve all that. I'm gonna put my phone in the charger, and I'm gonna take a shower because I, I I went to the gym earlier, and I need to take a shower. You right, Black Sheriff. I might come back on here later on. Shit, today is Monday. It's wrestling tonight. I'm, I'm, I'm going to hit y'all up, though.